And welcome back. As we've been discussing, Backfield in Motion is a program that's designed to educate, engage, and empower young black males in the Nashville community. Here's News Channel 5's Brandon Marshall with a look at how that program does what it does. Inside Lytton Middle School. So scenario, we're at work, okay, I'm having trouble at home. Students role play helping friends through tough times. I need someone to comfort me. The organization Backfield in Motion focuses on education to help at-risk males earn a high school diploma and more. It's wonderful seeing these young boys develop into young men. Micah Kimball helps run the program. Instructors teach students reading, math, science, and character development all year round for free. Whatever you feel. They've had so many, op op so many doors open to them through this program and they've made so many friends and, and, and lifelong partners through this program. The program started 20 years ago using sports to attract inner city kids. Now they spend more time in the classroom. This program has exposed these boys to so much. Instructor Bettinger Burroughs says the students may not get a chance to play sports or go on field trips. They can here. They also talk about serious issues like child molestation, teen pregnancy, and suicides. We've discussed different hotlines for them to call. We've discussed different scenarios and what to do. Um, if you come across maybe a friend or someone that's feeling that way. Instructors see the potential in their students. At six, hear what 11 and a half year old CJ says about the program helping him. In Nashville, Brandon Marshall, News Channel 5. And of course, Executive Director of Backfield in Motion, Todd Campbell, back with us again. Uh, when you look at uh, those young people and the achievements that they've made, talk a little bit about some of those success stories. Our, our biggest success story, he's actually one of our board members now. Uh, his name is Reggie. Uh, Reggie actually started out in our program. His dad was in prison. Um, he started out probably, I think, in fourth grade. Mm -hmm. He ended up going to Vanderbilt University, played football at Vanderbilt. He has his MBA now from Vanderbilt. He's just opened his own um, sports agency uh, from just his whole experience. And one of the, one of the things Reggie does, he his name's Reggie Ford. Reggie comes back and he does a lot of stuff. He actually brings a lot of guys uh, back to talk to the kids and those types of things. So wow. I, Reggie's probably our biggest, our biggest success story. Talk, because uh, that reminded me, so fourth grade, so what are the ages uh, that you take care of in your program? From what age to what age, or what grade to what grade? We go from first all the way through high school. Okay. Uh, we just add the elementary kids probably last year, just based off the whole literacy aspect, we felt like we needed to get the kids earlier, yeah. which it actually helps us because it allows us to get the kids in our program and they can grow up through our program all for 12 years as opposed to just getting them at middle school level. And do you monitor their grades and test scores all along the way so you can see the achievement as they go through? Of course. So we, we as I said earlier, we partner with uh, a lot of the things that Metro schools are doing. So we use their MAP scores, we use the achievement scores, we get the scores from the schools, straight from the schools. Mm -hmm. uh, so we take those scores and we use those and process as those as part of our scores. Uh, so we can keep up with what each school is doing. Because we, we have kids at probably 16 different schools. Yeah. So we try to keep up with that. We have a, a lady at our office, she does a spreadsheet of all our scores. Uh, as far as the kids report cards. Um, our youth coordinators, they visit the schools during the day uh, to make sure the kids, if there's any kids who aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing, we want to know about that because if you have a kid at a school who's not doing what he's supposed to be doing during the day, we kind of handle that when we get when they get with us because we're gonna not let you play sports that day and those kind of things, so wow. we do it that way. So there are consequences if oh, yeah. you're messing up, which oh, yeah. is what kids need these right. days for sure. What's the role of the parent when it comes to this program? I know you said many, and some of, not many, but some of your young men come from single family homes, but what, what are the responsibilities of parents? You can't just dump your kid and go, right? Right, well, w one of the things we ask the parents to do, we, const every, we always have uh, what we call parent meetings, quarterly parent meetings. So we try to bring the parents in and, and educate them the same way we do the kids. Uh, this coming year we're going to try to, because we've added a school that has a large Hispanic population, mm -hmm. so we want to add some English language classes uh, to help those parents. We also have, um, we partner with some banks 
and they come in and they do financial planning with the parents and just help them, you know, just improve their credit and give them ideas on stuff like that too. We also offer a free GED class for the parents. So we feel like we need to do the, the same thing for the parents in order to keep those kids engaged because if we keep the parents engaged, it just keeps everybody engaged in our program. Right, and don't take this the wrong way because it's definitely critically important that we focus on our young men and our boys. Uh, but what about the girls? <laughs> how, how does that work with your program or does it not at all? Well, the uniqueness of our program is, as you know, is, is for boys. Yeah. Um, but I think a lot of things we do, uh, it, it, it could, it can be great for girls too. So what we try to do is we will partner with other groups who have situations for girls. Yeah. Um, I was talking not long ago to a young lady who has a program. It's like the female version of what we do. So we try to bring those bring those programs to the table. So when we go to a school and we offer a school our program, we also say, hey, why don't you check out this program also? Because I think it's the female version of us. So we we try to, you know, have a female version also for what we do because for us it's more about all the kids as opposed to just the uniqueness of our program. If parents are interested or young men who may just happen to be surfing the channels and spot this show, how can they get involved with Backfield in Motion? Well, that's easy. That's the easy part. Uh, you just go to our website. It's backfieldinmotion.org. Uh, you can email me at toddc at backfieldinmotion.org. Uh, you can call us. We, we, we want to we bring everybody in who wants to be involved. Um, actually, the, um, the show that Brandon did with us uh, a couple weeks ago, it actually, we got a lot of phone calls after wow. that because people wanted to be involved in what we do. Um, and there's, there's so many opportunities, whether you want to come in and help tutor kids or if you think something you're doing is positive. We, our kids, our guys go out and um, like we volunteer. We have guys doing cleanup. So anytime there's programs like that who, you know, want to do cleanup and those types of things, we'll come out and help. Uh, we've had a lot of people, you know, call us, hey, we just want to come talk to your kids. And we are open to anybody who's bringing something positive to our guys. And is there a cut, a limit on the number of young men you can take at a time? I guess I'm asking, is there room for more so we, people to come and get we, the service? We, I will say yes. Okay. We always have room. Um, obviously, the more kids we add, the more financial needs will. Because, right. we'll, because the uniqueness of our program is that we offer it free. There's no charge whatsoever to be in our program. Uh, we take the kids Christmas shopping and all those things. Yeah. We do big celebrations for them. So obviously, there's funding that, that, that comes with that. So depending on our funding, depends on how many kids we have. Right now we have about 230 kids, um, but we would love to grow the program to where we have three or 400, you know. It just, you know, we, we gotta make sure that, that we have the cost to, to be able to handle that, but we'll take all the kids that wanna be part of our program. Well, and with that, the funding needs, talk a little bit about how people can help if they've got the resources or a corporation looking to partner with an organization like yours. Same thing, uh, just contact us at backfieldemotion.org uh, or you can call me. Um, but the biggest thing we want to make sure, if people want to just come out and help, uh, mm -hmm. definitely, because we, we, you know, we never turn down funding. Oh, <laughs> so of course, we, <laughs> absolutely not when you're a not-for-profit. Right, so you we can, never turn can. down funding. Uh -huh. So, you know, and, and that's the one that, we have a lot of people that help us right now. Like the Tennessee Department of Education does a great job. Uh, the Dollar General Literacy Program does a great job. Mm. But at the same time, you would be surprised at how many private funders we have who don't even want people to know their name, but they hate, yeah. we love what you're doing. So if there's some private funders out there who wants to do that or corporations, we're more than open to, to, to working with you. This might not be a fair number, but you've got 230 sitting in the seats right now. Mm -hmm. um, over the course of 20 years, how many young men would you oh, say wow. you've taken care of? Oh, I would say, well, the, a lot of our kids stay in our program. Yeah through so those years. So I they could start first grade and right, go all the way through, right. through so, 12. Uh, you're looking at you know several thousand kids wow. that, that have come up through our program. I mean, obviously we'll, we'll lose a few, Yeah. but we have a lot of guys whose, whose families, the moms and dads, they want they want the kids to stay in our program, so we'll have them for 12 years. You know, you lose a few around when they get to high school because it's not as cool anymore. Cool. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But other than that, we, we keep a lot of kids. Excellent. Uh, and, and what about college success? Uh, have, do you have like percentages of how many have gone on to college from Backfield in Motion? Yes, so as far as college, 
I think people need to understand that there's levels that we deal with at college. Yeah. You know, I think a lot of times when people not are just everybody thinking, wants to go to college, right? Right. right. Mm -hmm. So, but we try to partner with with colleges such as you know um, the Diesel College and those types of things because I think the misconception is that when you say college, four a lot of kids just think of a four years mm -hmm. institution. Uh, we we really try to impress upon the kids that you can go to community college for free now. So we, we bring out counselors and those type of things to, ha to talk to our kids. Uh, one of the great things about our program is that we only have certified teachers in our program. So you have teachers who are constantly talking to the kids about the program, about going to college and those types of things too. So that helps us a lot. Any final little, we've got a, maybe a minute or so left, but uh, any final kind of words of wisdom you might, uh, you might say to a young person who might be watching? Well, here's what I always tell kids. You never know how your situation is going to end up. You know, I think a lot of times uh, kids think because they're in a certain environmental situation at this point that it's going to never change. You have to be that change, and, I, and that's one of the reasons we try to bring a lot of positive guys out. Um, you know, I myself, I didn't grow up in, in an affluent area, but you know, we you work hard at what you're doing, mm -hmm. and then it'll come for you. Uh, but I, I really, we really try to impress upon our guys is that education is the key to all that because they do that for free. You could take that and run with it and then you know you better yourself that way. Todd Campbell, Executive Director, Backfield in Motion. www.backfieldinmotion.org is the contact, uh, the website to get more information. Thank you so much for being here Thanks today. For me. And we thank you for being here as well. We'll see you again next time.